Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to join a single player world with your friend. Now we're going to be doing this in two ways. The first way is, well, pretty simple, joining it using a LAN world. Now for a LAN world to work, that means they need to be at your house, right? They need to be at your physical house on your internet connection. If you are on the same internet connection as the friend, you know, sibling, parent, whatever you're playing with, then you're perfectly fine. You can do this with no issues whatsoever and you don't need to worry about starting a Minecraft server or anything. You can just do a normal single player world. However, if uh, you know they're not at your house and you wanna play on a single player world with your friends, I'll show you how to move that world to a server. Um, you can check out the description down below and at the eye at the top of your screen for how to start a Minecraft server. But nevertheless, being a starting Minecraft server, it is actually quick and very, very easy to do with Apex Minecraft host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to set up a Minecraft server, let's say your, you know, a land world won't work for you, you can set and move your single player world to Apex Minecraft hosting and play with your friends there on your single player world. But nevertheless, what if you are on the same internet connection? Let's go ahead and go over that first. Well, the first thing we need to do is obviously get into Minecraft here. Now, I'm going to be opening up two Minecraft accounts at the same time. The reason I'm going to be doing that is I'm going to be showing you that this is very, very possible and very, very easy to do. Um, even if for whatever reason you wanted to like run an alt account or something like that in a single player world, you can do this using the same method. Now, here is the thing. With this, they need to be on your own internet connection. I cannot stress that enough. They need to be on the same exact to, to the letter internet connection that you are on. So there we go. The first Minecraft account's opening up there. Second one's now opening up. Once both of these are open up, this is you'll be amazed how easy and simple this process actually is. So here we are on the main menu of Minecraft. We click on single player. This is just called play with friends because I thought it would be kind of fun to, you know, just use the world for this. So when we join in, you'll see that no one is here. We are good. Nobody is here, right? It's just me on this account, basically, here. Now, that's 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 that, right? But how do we get this account here, right? Right now, if we, you know, were to double click on single player like this, it's gonna mess up things like crazy uh, because I'm on the same computer, but your friend doesn't even have this, right? They don't even have this option. So what your friend wants to do is click on multiplayer. Now, once they're here, it's not gonna show anything except the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, green protective survival, custom sky block. Can play this, you won't regret it. Nevertheless, this is what your friend wants to do. They wanna click on multiplayer. And then what you wanna do back on your Minecraft account, you're already in the single player world that you wanna show your friend that you wanna play with your friend in. Go ahead and just hit escape and then click on open to land here. Then when you click on open to land, you can change this as you want, whether you want it to be survival, spectator, creative, or adventure. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it survival. Allow cheats on or off. I'm gonna turn this on just because it allows like for some server style commands and stuff. And that's what I'm most familiar with. So we're gonna go ahead and allow cheats on and then go ahead and click start land world. As soon as you do that, nearly instantly, it will pop up over here, land world, Nick King, play with friends. Now, Nick King, which is, will be replaced with your username, right? So that, that, that'll be replaced with your username. But other than that, it'll be exactly the same here as far as like instantly popping up. Your friend may need to do some refreshing and refresh a few times and then it will be there. Now, all your, their, your friend needs to do is double click on this world. It will then go ahead and join the server right on in here. Now, once we've loaded in, right like so, we'll be able to see, there it is. There is my alt account and we can run over here and be like, hi, how are you? Hi, there we go. For some reason though, it's like my alt was all messed up. There we go, boom. As you can see, both accounts are now in the same world playing together, even though they are, you know, completely, completely separate. We can actually even hit tab here and see Nick King Nick's games. This is done without a Minecraft server. This is just a simple way for you to play with someone who is at your house on the same internet connection as you using a LAN world by just hitting again escape and then clicking that open to LAN button there. Now, what if though they're not in your same house and you wanna set up a Minecraft server? Well, first and foremost is to go set up a Minecraft server. Again, I drop your screen, link in the description down below for how to set up a Minecraft server. You can either use Apex and purchase a server, that's gonna be your easiest way, or you can set one up on your own computer for 100% free. Either way, it's a very similar process. So on Apex, they have a tutorial for it. But basically, you want to log into your FTP on Apex and just bring your single player world over. However, reach out to their support and they'll help you with that. What if though you're hosting your server on your own computer? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just disconnect on both of these, right? Back out to the main menu. So save and quit the title. You'll notice, by the way, it takes a little longer to save the world when you're in the LAN. Kind of interesting. But nonetheless, now we're back here. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser. 
And here on my desktop, I have a Minecraft server. This is already set up. It's got everything in here that we need to basically get our server up and running. But what we want to do is click on the a little icon in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen most likely, but that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen, click on that and then type in run, R-U-N. Then you'll have this run application here. Click on that. And then in this run application, you want to type percent sign, APP DATA percent sign, percent app data percent, and click OK. That will then open up your roaming folder. And here you should have a dot Minecraft folder. Then in here you should have a saves folder. Then you'll notice that basically all of these worlds, right, are your single player worlds. Even the one we were just on, Play With Friends, is here. That's when we're going to be moving to our Minecraft server over here. So to do that, let's just go ahead and double click on it. And then in here, you'll see advancements, data, data packs, dim one, dim dash one, player data, all of that stuff is in here. What you want to do is go to your Minecraft server, open up the world folder, and you'll notice some of these are the same. Data, data packs, dim one, dim dash one, player data, all that's there. Delete everything on your Minecraft server, right? So this is the server, right? In the world folder, there is now nothing there. Then go ahead, highlight everything, right? All we, we're in the saves file in your .minecraft folder. We have clicked on the world. So in this case, play with friends. And then there's all of this in here. What we want to do is right click on that, click on copy. So highlight it all, drag and highlight everything here, right click on it, click on copy, come back over to the world folder in your Minecraft server and click paste. Then it will go ahead and move everything over into here. And now this Minecraft server has your single player world on it. By the way, if something was to mess up, guess what? It's okay because you didn't remove your single player folder or files over here. You only copied them. So now let's go ahead and start up this Minecraft server, right like so. It'll start up there. We can also go ahead and move this down just so you all can see the players joining into the server there. Go ahead and move this over here right like so. Just kind of get everything reorganized while that server is starting. And then once it started up, we can join on in. As you can see, it says done there. You want to click on multiplayer. Then we can just click direct connect here. It's not going to show up automatically. You will need to click direct connect. And then this is going to be your local IP address or your public IP address. When you started your Minecraft server, if you used our tutorial, I went over all of this. What your friends join off of is your public IP address. What you join off of is your local IP address. But that's all gone over in that tutorial that you checked out in the description down below. So once you're here, just click join server. And then it will join right on in and you'll be in the same single player world you were just in. Boom. There we go. Your inventory, by the way, will even be the same because the player data even transferred that quick and that easy. We're not done just yet though. We still need to go ahead and direct connect with the other account just to really prove, there it is, same exact position, you notice, that this is up and working. And so that is how you can play with your friends on a Minecraft single player world. Whether you open up a LAN like we did at the beginning or whether you start a Minecraft server and then move the world over to a Minecraft server, either way works perfectly. And now you can play a single player Minecraft world with your friends. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. It really does mean a lot to us and we try our best to produce the best Minecraft content in the world. Also, if you want to come play on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, we don't just say that we went out we tried other servers ours is by far the best come come check it out you will agree play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip you can check it out in the description down below all the information is down there we've got green protected survival two incredible survival servers medieval and aquatic and our awesome custom skyblock server so again come play this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip thank you so so much for watching my name is nick and i am out peace